actually start small. Uh, rather than trying to focus on the entire estate or the entire plant, focus on something small that's more manageable. Uh, focus in on something where there's perhaps been a lot of downtime, has required a lot of maintenance, or there's energy consumption issues, and think about how you can potentially look at solving some of those challenges first in that small area before trying to take it out to a much wider area of your organisation. Secondly, define what the outcome will be from the outset. Think about what you're trying to achieve. What are some of the key measurements that you're looking to do? If it is decreased downtime, then by how much? If it is to improve the predictive maintenance of something, then you know by how much? If it's to reduce energy consumption, by how much and by when? So thirdly, gain support from internal IT. Only when IT and the business and the operations teams work together can you really get the value from some of this technology. And one of the things that we do see is that there's a volume of data that gets collected when you connect all of these things inside a, a factory floor, for example. Being able to analyse that data, collect it in a way that can then be measured and, and appropriately looked at, is really, really important. So work with IT, work with the operational stakeholders, and put a plan together to enable you to harness the data that you do collect and ensure that you can make some efficiency gains and productivity gains as a result of that. There's a risk of data overload with these types of projects and as we connect more things, the volume of data, the variety of data um, exponentially increases. I think the companies need to think about you know, what is the outcome that they're looking for, collect the appropriate data and think about areas that they're going to analyse that data in. So for example, do you need to take all that data from every piece of machinery uh, back to a data centre to get it processed? Or can you do that more locally with new techniques like fog computing? Could you do that at the edge and on the machine and only send the data that's really needed for the outcome that you're looking for? So one of the challenges companies face is the myriad of different networks that exist in factories. Uh, from legacy networks to new types of systems that are coming on board with IP at the heart of them, companies are naturally challenged by how do I bring all of this together? One of the best ways to do that is try to standardise and harmonise on the overall standards that you implement. And Industrial Ethernet is a great way of doing that. We're increasingly seeing that appear in more and more of the technology that's being put into the factory environment. There are new technologies such as the Cisco Industrial Network Director, which enables uh, companies to simply deploy new technology like switches into the network uh, and for them to be automatically recognised, configured, the right policies and the security controls around them implemented without the need for human intervention that might have been needed before. So again, this is an immediate productivity gain for organisations by not having to worry about the underlying technology requirements, but actually be able to get more productive more quickly. Thank you.